as you can tell already in front of me, I got three wireless home speakers for you from Denon. Now the big boy over here, this is the 350. This one goes for $6.99. Then you got the 250. This one goes for $4.99. And then you got the 150, which goes for $2.49. You wanna see some love? It's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Denon, they reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to review their wireless home speaker lineup and then and they're right up there if not better than your bose clips your sony's harman Kardon's, sonos i mean these speakers right here this series right here definitely give those companies a run for their money when it comes to all around sound quality this video is mainly about the 150 so let me get these other two big boys out the way and let's talk about this 150 Okay, so like I said, this Denon Home 150 goes for $249. And as always, I'll put the links in the description down below. You can pick this up on Amazon, but at the time that I'm recording this video, this is out of stock on the actual Denon website. And this speaker, just like the other two that I just showed you, they come in two different colors. You got a white and you got a black. And they did send me the white color in this 150 right here. Okay, so very quickly going on the box on the front side, it says Denon Home. 150 wireless speaker now when it says wireless speaker please do not get it confused with portable speaker because I do believe that this does have to stay plugged in into AC power to keep running and yes this speaker right here is able to be paired with another 150 I'm not sure if it can be paired with 250 and a 350 to create that stereo sound but definitely a 150 and at the end of this video I think I'm gonna go ahead and test that out on the back side it says Denon Home 150 wireless speaker, amazing sound in every room, play songs or share playlists from favorite music services with the free Heos app. And the app I will get into in a little bit, I'll go through it step by step, setting it up and everything. Party mode even lets you play one song anywhere on Heos compatible speakers. And then it has a bunch of different music streaming services that it has available on the app. You got Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, Sirius, XM, SoundCloud, iHeart, Radio, AWA, Napster, Deezer, TuneIn, Apple Music, Tidal. And this also works with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple AirPlay, and it has Heels built in. On the left side of the box, it says, amazing sound built on 100 years of innovation. As Japan's first audio electronics manufacturer with a deep legacy of first, Denon is the defining audio company of Japan. Founded in 1910, we enabled the moments that matter through the relentless pursuit of quality, innovation, and audio performance. We innovate for a better experience. I'm just excited to get into this box and show you exactly what this can do because I haven't unboxed this, I haven't played around with this yet. Okay, so on the inside of this box, you do get a quick start guide from Denon. You get some safety instructions, some notes on the radio, and then you also get, it looks like, it says congratulations on purchasing this Denon product. And then, I mean, got some packaging. And here's the speaker right here wrapped up nicely and then also you do have your power cable and that is everything that's inside of the box so let me get this out of this wrapping and see exactly what we're talking about here okay okay nice size not too bad very nice look i really do like this look and on the top it does give you some it says quick select three i do believe that there are like a one two three that comes up right here so you can have different radio stations save that you have programmed to various music streaming apps, depending on which one you decide to use. You have your Bluetooth, your Heos, and it says amazing sound in every room. Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple iTunes. On the back side, you have a connect button. You have your Bluetooth button at the bottom. You have your aux in. You have a USB type A port, and you have a network port right here. You also have your power port where you connect your AC power. And then right here, it looks like it's somewhere where you can hook it to a stand or a mouse if you want to put it on the wall or if you want to buy the stand that's available for this as well you have your rubberized feet on the bottom so it won't slip anywhere and um real quick let me go ahead and give you some specs 
on this speaker so that you know everything that's on the inside of the speaker. The first column is the 150, the second column is the 250, and the third column is the 350. So built-in Class D power amplifiers, you get two on this one, four on the 250, six on the 350. Drivers, you get two drivers in here. On the 250, you get four plus passive radiator, and on a 350, you get six drivers. Tweeters, this is one by 25 millimeters. The 250, two by 19 millimeters, and then also the same on the 350. They don't have anything listed for mid-range for the 150, the 250, but on the 350, you get the two by 50 millimeter, and then the woofer on here is one by 89 millimeter. The 250, you get two by 100 millimeter and 133 millimeter passive radiator, and on the 350, you get a two by 165 millimeter. Okay, so that's everything. I mean, that is a solid build construction. It has some good weight to it, not too heavy, but then again, I don't believe this is a portable speaker. You have to have it plugged in in order for this to work, and that goes the same for the 250 and the 350. So let me go ahead and plug this in, download the app, and see exactly how this thing sounds. Okay, so as soon as I plug power up to this, as you can see, there's a blue light flashing on the front side, and you do have your buttons up here. You have your one, two, and three, like I said earlier, which you can program to various radio stations. Maybe you have three radio stations that you like on iHeart Music app, or if you have a radio station on iHeart Music app, and you have a radio station on Tidal, and you have a radio station on, I don't know, Spotify, you can program these and you can automatically jump to those. And then you do have your play, your volume down, and your volume up. And your play button has multiple functions to it. So if you hit play, obviously it's going to play and pause your music. If you double tap it, it'll go to the next track. And if you triple tap it, it'll go to the previous track or start the song over. So with that being said, once this light is done flashing blue, it'll have this steady yellow color. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and download the Kios app. So I'm gonna click on that and it says searching for your device. Okay, so it's just switched screen. So I wanna hit set up now. And I did set this app up a little bit before, but I did not hook this device up. So I wanna click and add new device. And it says plug in the device and show that your device with heels built in is plugged in. When the status light on the front is a solid amber, which it is right here, select next. So now it's searching for this one right here. And it already found the Denon Home 150. So go ahead and hit next. And then it's saying airport setup gather information about your network so it's on my network obviously because my phone is paired to my wi-fi down here here's everything right here you can add a speaker password you can verify your password i'm not going to have a speaker password that's my network go ahead and click next it says setting up this airplay speaker to join my files connection okay so this airplay has joined my files connection i'm going to hit, hit done and then it says connecting to your Denon Home 150. Where is this going to be? Most likely I'm going to put this in my gym. They don't have gym on here. So where would I put it? It's going to be in the playroom. Go ahead and click next. And then it says connected. Your Denon 150 has successfully connected to your network. Enjoy. So I'm going to hit, hit done. And now the main thing that you would want to do on here is make sure that you if there's any updates available, definitely update this. So this is the inside the app and the settings. So under what's new, it says introducing the new Denon home lineup. Click on that. It talks about that right there. You can pause the video and read that if you want to. Denon home tips gives you different Denon home tips right here. I'm going to back out of that. You also have my devices. I got my playroom, so this is the only one here. So this is the 150 that's hooked up right there. Um, it got my Heos account, music sources, this phone, music sharing, online music. I'm already signed into Tidal and SoundCloud. Those are the main ones that I use and Spotify is turned on, but I don't use Spotify. Inputs, it goes back to the playroom network, shares. No shares have been added at this point. It's connected to this phone, music sharing. So music sharing allows anyone else on a local network with the Heels app to browse and play music from your device. I'm gonna keep that off for right now. 
music sources just went to that so software updates auto update always turn that on and right now i'm going to check it says a newer version of heal software is available i'm going to go ahead and update that right now so now that this, this device is updated completely here is the app itself right here so let me go ahead and start with the playroom tab so as you can see it says playroom this is assigned to here for playroom if i had the other the 250 and the 350 hooked up it will show your different like if I have office or master bedroom, it'll show up right there. And it says drag one room into another to group them. Also have your music tab. And these are all the different music streaming services apps that you can set up. You got Pandora, Spotify, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Deezer, Napster, iHeartRadio, Sirius XM, SoundCloud, Tidal, Rhapsody, my phone, uh, music servers, USB music, playlist, history, inputs, and favorites. So if you have any type of music streaming services that's not on here, I don't know what to tell you. Under this gear icon at the top left, you click on that. This is where the settings were, where you saw me set up this device. So you have add device, what's new, my devices, my account, uh, music services, software update, help, and tips for heels, which I already went through all of that. And then you also have now playing, and this shows you exactly what's playing. And so one more thing that I wanted to show you inside this app right here, this three dot icon, you click on that, you can turn the bass all the way up, or you can adjust the bass exactly how you want it. I'm gonna put it all the way up, and I'll put the treble up to about four. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then, so that sets that. And so that's everything that's inside of the app. So let me go ahead and turn this on and let's just see how this sounds. Since I do have my Tidal app and my SoundCloud app hooked up to this, I don't need to go to those apps to play music. I can just click right in here. So if I click SoundCloud and then let me go to my favorites right here. And then let me play some music. And so there you go. It's automatically playing. As you can see, the volume is not that high. Let me go ahead and uh, start turning this up as soon as the music gets louder. So here you go. Okay, so as you just saw, I turned that from, I think I started out maybe like around 20 or 30 something and all up to 100%. And the sound out of here is amazing. The bass, I mean, the bass just knocks to get a set the sound quality out of this little speaker right here. In my opinion, the $250 is well worth it. There's nothing more I can say about this. Perfect sound. I just can't wait to test out the 250 and the 350 compared to the 150. Because the 150, this one right here, this will do the thing. Like if you have a, a smaller room or like a bedroom and you want this to give you great sound in that bedroom, this will definitely work out for you. You can even hook this up to a TV and get very good sound out of this for uh, a TV. Get like another one of these, pair them together, put them in the back, probably get the subwoofer, put that next to the TV and get the sound bar. That combination will be a beast. There's so many options that you can choose with this Den and Home lineup. I mean, it's just amazing. Okay, so now that I do finally have all three devices, you got your 350, you got your 150, you got your 250. They are all hooked up to my mobile device. And I did talk about the connect button on the back of each device. And that connect button is just to connect it to your Wi-Fi connection. It's not to connect them to each other. So if I said that earlier in this video, disregard what I said about that. Now I'm going to show you how to group these all together so that you can get all of these playing the same music. Okay, so inside of that app right here, you will want to go to your office tab and inside your office tab, it tells you drag one room into another to group them. So I like the music that I was playing from the 250. So what I'm gonna do is just hold the theater, drag it to the office. So it's going to be playing what was on the office and I'm gonna hold the playroom, drag it to that group. And so now it's making everything 
play this same one right here. So if I go over here, hit play, turn the volume up, it's coming out of both of these. So let me turn this one down, turn this one down. So as you can hear, it's coming out of this center one. Now if I turn this center one down, turn this 250 up, coming out of here. Turn this one down, turn the 150 up. It's coming out of here. So that's how you put together all three of these. You can have all three of these in the seven rooms playing the same music. Now, now I don't know if it's a true stereo because true stereo, let's say you have either one of these set up in an entertainment environment hooked up to a TV, you would hear a uh, sound on this speaker. It might not be on this speaker. Like if someone's running, you would hear them running from this side to this side, or if like there's a gunshot, only the gunshot will go off on this side and not this side at all. So. I'm not sure if, in, if it's in true stereo right now. Okay, so one thing that I did notice is that if I'm not playing music and I'm on Netflix, I'm in the rooms tab inside this app and I'm trying to group these together. But as you can see at the top, it says grouping not allowed while playing airplay. So I was trying to test out to see if this is going to go in true stereo like I talked about before, but I'm not able to test that out. I don't know, maybe I just need to sit with these and do a little bit more research or just a little bit more testing on these to see if these can be in true stereo. So if that's a question that you have, I don't have the answer right now. And if you do leave that comment, down below, I'll go ahead and pin that comment so maybe someone else can answer that for you. But as of right now, you can play the same thing on each of these in any part of the house that you have as long as it's on the same Wi-Fi network. But if it's in true stereo, that's something that I still have to figure out. So sorry that I couldn't answer that question for you. That is my full review on the Denon Home 150. Great product, $250, like I said, available on Amazon. Link in the description down below. They're available in a black and white color. You have the app. You can adjust the EQ inside the app, add various music streaming services inside the app, get steady downloads and updates through the app. The only one thing that I kind of don't like about this, but I understand is how this is not portable. It is wireless, but it's not portable. So you always have to have it plugged into AC power to, for it to be working. But you know what? I got this and plan on putting this in my gym and I don't plan on moving it around. So if you do like this product and you're into this product, just please remember that this is not a portable wireless speaker. It's just a wireless speaker and there is a difference. So that's everything I got for the Den and Home 150, man. I appreciate y'all stopping by. As always, if you found any value in this video or if this is your first time here, go ahead and feel free to smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.